previously on Persona 3 Reload. Just gonna look over here and grab myself a nice soda. Looks like the power's out. Ah, just my luck. Hmm. I don't know, maybe this stuff tastes good. Let me try some. Yeah, that's definitely blood. Not bad though. And now back to... Hello! The Sneako B! Back with some more Persona 3 Reload. When we last left off, Oh my God, it's a bird, it's a plane. No, it's that blue haired persona guy. What's his name again? Minato? Makoto? Oh no, of course, it's Nico Bizzle, the dino sizzle. Oh, God damn it, I hate my life. And he's here to live a normal school life with his classmates like Yukari here, who's got a gun strapped to her leg, cool. And sexy Mama Sita Mitsuru, who's definitely not in her 20s. Just going to school, listening to lectures, helping my dumb friend Junpei get the right answer. Oh, all the people in my dorm spy on me as I sleep. Very normal things. Oh, and of course, also lots and lots of using the bathroom. <laughs> but yeah, we're off to a, a good start. Game's looking nice and clean. Loving the updates to the visuals, especially the character models. I mean, look how damn good our boy looks here. Yeah, you know, it's uh, it's definitely gotta be the, the shampoo I use, right? Maybe it's Maybelline, who knows? But I'm glad to see you guys are so uh, excited and amped for this series. It's always, it's always fun seeing uh, people get excited for, for big LPs like this. And Persona is definitely one of the big series for this channel, you know? When you play a Persona game, it's like coming home, you know? You just feel like, yeah, this this feels right. <laughs> By the way, guys, so, some of you guys were like, and when I said, oh, the last time I played a Persona game was Persona 5 Vanilla. And some people were like, uh, Persona 5 Strikers though? Yeah, but it's, I mean like a general regular Persona game. Persona 5 Strikers was a unique action version of a Persona game and also really didn't have like social links like normal ones. It was its own thing. I mean, a true blue freaking Persona game with all of the bells and whistles that you expect. And hell, I mean, technically later this year, we're gonna get another one with Metaphor Refantasio, because that shit literally has all the elements of a regular Persona game, which is also probably the reason why we won't be getting Persona 6 anytime soon. But hey, I will say, at least between this game and Metaphor, I mean, we're, we're eating pretty good right now, so I don't really have too many complaints. But uh, anyway, last episode, uh, Quantum Burst Zero Zero said, uh, Jojo Part 3, hi Persona 3, Persona 3, hi Jojo Part 3, Jojo Part 3, uh, Persona 3. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. I mean, one, obviously the, uh, the threes, right? Part three, Persona three, but in reality, it's also just, you know, stand up, Persona. <laughs> like there's always a connection between two LPs, right? There's always seems to be the case. It's never intentional on my part. It just ends up happening. Sometimes it's subtle, you know, a little hard. You have to sort of dig deep to find it, but this one's just like, yo, no, man. It's just, it's just there. I'm pretty sure without JoJo, Persona would not exist. And without Persona, the number three would never exist. We're all coming full circle here. It's amazing. But Quantum, thank you so much for your hilariously accurate comment. And here's that reason you are comment of the day. But yes, you actually also might have noticed, uh, t isn't today supposed to be a JoJo day? Well, we've literally had two weeks of just nothing but nonstop JoJo. And because we started this on a Friday, because it got released on a Friday, I didn't want to just start next week and be like, all right, well, we only get two episodes of this when we like just started. Nah, man, I want to start this week off strong and get at least three episodes of Persona 3 and give a little break to JoJo so we can focus on Persona 3 for now. So we'll still getting, be getting JoJo on Tuesday and Thursday, but I want to be able to play at least enough of Persona to actually get to the game. I mean, look at this shit. I'm still, I'm still at the point where I, all I have I, that I actually unlocked in the menu here is literally the system config files and none of this other shit. And that's how it's going to be, right? This all, none of this shit's actually going to get used in this game. It's just going to be this all the way to the credits. Just going to be a regular school simulator and nothing more. Yeah, all those coffins and blood I came across outside. Like I said, it's just Tuesday, nothing more. All right, another thing you guys mentioned is that apparently um, Merciless, at least in the Persona 5 real, it's sort of like a, it's a kind of a unique difficulty. It's sort of like, it's not exactly just like, oh, it's the hardest thing ever. It's, it actually adds some benefits to it. Like enemies hit hard, but you, and you do less damage with your regular attacks, but uh, weakness attacks do actually extra damage. 
So I don't know if that's the case here or if it's just like an even harder hard mode, but I've heard some people say that for people who actually know the game, you know, to an extent and understand like the weaknesses and how that shit works, Merciless Guy actually can be easier. So I, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. We're gonna play it by ear. I'm actually just gonna see if I'm gonna get my shit kicked in. Cause like I said, Persona 3, when I originally played that game, beat my ass on normal difficulty. In my opinion, I think it is harder than Persona 4 and 5, and, but it could just also have been I had, just had more experience with those games, so who knows. But I remember some of the early bosses in this game being like, you know, no joke. Also, I'm glad to see you guys are enjoying the uh, new 4K fidelity for these videos. I'm not gonna be doing it probably for like every series. I'm only gonna use it for series I feel like can use it to an extent, like, for P3R and Final Fantasy VII Rebirth when that comes out. But things like maybe like Switch games or like RPG Maker games, I'm not sure if I'll do it because I just don't think it's really necessary. It's not gonna make that much of a difference on YouTube. But this game's clean looking and I want that shit to look reflect actually in the YouTube videos. And honestly, even if you don't have like a 4K monitor, it just looks, it, the bitrate looks so much better on 4K for YouTube videos. Like truly, if, you, if you've never actually tried it, because you're like, oh, I have a 1080p monitor, it doesn't matter. Dude, me too. That's all I had until I literally upgraded to this shit. Then I finally got a 4K monitor, but it still just makes your videos look better. You don't get that crunchy shit that a lot of uh, 1080p uh, videos have. So, by the way, sorry, I sound a little froggy uh, for whatever reason. I just, I, I, I don't know if I'm getting sick or if it's allergies, but something just kind of kicked my ass like after I had dinner tonight. And now I'm just like, I don't know, I got signs at the wazoo. So, apologies. But anyway, tonight's a full moon. I'm sure nothing significant's going to happen. Isn't that right, Yukari? Because there's a dorm mother here who wants to cook stuff, but it's just it's us students now. That's why we have such a nice kitchen. Seems like a waste not to use it. Yeah, it does. That's a bit much. Huh. I guess you don't really care about stuff like that, huh? Okay. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Oh, right. I say the moon looks quite stunning on this hazy spring night. Though tempting as it may be to spend a night such as this gazing at the sky. So she had to head a bit early. Some rest. Don't worry. Oh. Always be fruitful. Yes. Again, I, this, it's like this in every Persona game, right? It's like the first few nights are just you, like everyone telling you to go to bed early. And we gave, we gave Morgana so much shit about it, but look at this. We sort of telling me to do this for, for like literally the past like four or five nights. You should go to sleep, you're tired. I'm, I'm, I'm actually not though. Yes, you are. Hey, 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 hey. All right, let's head to my room and uh, listen to My Chemical Romance till I fall asleep like I usually do. I should go to bed. Man, I really hope I don't dream about weird old dudes with long noses again. Definitely one of my weirder wet dreams. I feel exhausted. Maybe it's because I haven't gotten used to living here. She was that old man from the dream I had last, last night. How the hell did I get a key in my pocket? That shit hurt when I woke up. What was that contract all about? Yeah, whatever. It's not any weirder than the fucking coffins on the street. Let's just go back to not giving a shit anymore. Hmm. I do love how little of a shit he fucking gives, you know? He's so unfazed by all the stuff going on outside. And we're back. How is he? Looks like he's a little worn out. He went to bed without changing out of his uniform. Thankful he didn't jack off tonight, so it was a lot less awkward. Other than that, nothing has changed since last night. Hmm. Very interesting. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation. This subject is rather... unique. He hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. But we're treating him like a guinea pig. Oh, don't look at it like that. The two of you are classmates, right? Consider it an opportunity to have someone your own age here. Besides, we need all the help we can get. I guess that's true, but still... who that be? Command room speaking. Akihiko, what's wrong? <clears throat> You're not gonna believe it. This thing is huge. Uh, I've been waiting for this. <laughs> Damn it, I hope Akiko at some point says that. He has to, right? He's gotta fucking say it. Unfortunately, it's chasing after me right now. Normally he says it in a fight. Like in the original, he said it, uh, I think when he baton passed him, or yeah, like when he's getting, or no, when you're about to do an all out attack, he'd be like, oh, I'm waiting for this. 
I'm almost back. Just letting you know in advance. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? Mr. Chairman, that's enough observation for now. We need to prepare for combat. Mortal combat! Uh, right. Be Oop, sorry. Be careful. Akihiko. Ah, ah, shit, fuck. You give me the biggest wet willy. My ears are clogged. <laughs> I'm all right. Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. It's about to come knocking. This is no time to joke around. Who's joking? No, I'm serious. He's coming. Is it one of them, Sanada-kun? Yeah, but not an ordinary one. Ah! What was that? You've got to be kidding me! Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. Takeba, go upstairs and wake him up. Then escape out the back. But what about you two? We'll stop it here. We fight! You're the one who led it to us, Akihiko. So I'm going to have you fight. It's not like I asked it to follow me. <laughs> what are you waiting for, Takeba? Go! Uh, okay. Actually, I think I just realized that uh, Akihiko already, he actually has like armor on, or like his like battle duds on. That was something they showed in the promo stuff, right? That was not in the original game. Normally when in the original game, the Dark Hour, we just wear our school uniforms and everything. But they like, we actually added, we get some new drip. Seems like Akihiko okay, actually already has that. Like, he's already battle ready. A loud noise woke me up, and it wasn't the sound of that na nasty hardcore porn I left on last night. I should check what's going happening outside. I'm already awake. Sorry, but I'm in. SWAT TEAM KICK! Ah! There's no time to explain. We have to get out of here now. Okay. Really? That's it? You're not gonna ask questions? Nope. Nothing phases you, does it? No, not really. All right. <laughs> Just in case. It's a gun. Damn it, it's a sword. Okay, let's oh, go. But I want a gun. No, you have to earn your gun. Oh. All right, we should be safe now. Takeba, do you read me? Y yes. I hear you. Are you in the ceilings? Be careful. There appears to be more than one enemy. So is this like a fire drill or- SHUT UP! The primary one's lurking somewhere nearby. What? Ah! Ah! Uh, oh, let's pull back. What are we gonna do? It's at the front door. You're asking me? Should we go upstairs for now? Uh-huh. We have to get to safety. Oh, that's cool. We actually see her chase, it. run with me. Let's see. I'm, I'm sure if I switch out my equipment and ah, balls. Well, I guess I'm just not cool enough to do that. Escape to safety. Okay. Let's see if you can keep up with yeah. me. What if Kiri just some and the others are okay? Don't worry. I know just the right place in, to go. Can you hold it in for now? But this is my happy place. Come on, just hold it! Seriously though, I got I gotta take a shit. It's the place where I come up with the best plans. I said hold it! <gasps> Fine. But if I shit my pants with this thing going after us, that's on you. Alright, get it get away upstairs. Let's hurry. It's getting closer. We need to calm down. It's gonna be okay. Says you, you're the one with the gun. Getting to safety is our priority now. All I got is this shitty butter knife. Uh, okay, I guess we're just gonna keep running to the roof, because that always works out well Sorry. in all movies, right? Suddenly you were sleeping, a props will explain later. Yeah, sure. It's fine, like I said, I'm okay. Knock, knock, bitch! It's getting closer. I'm a coming in. It's 
It's me, Ronnie McDonnie! Keep moving! Hurry! Right! If we go out through here, then... Yeah, as long as it's not also on the roof, we'll be fine. Right? Right. I've locked the door, so we should be safe for now. Or she can just, like, lock us with it. Or, yeah, you know, it's fine. Do, 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 do. Moon! That is a big green moon. No way. Now see, what did I just fucking say? Return the slab. Uh, aren't you supposed to aim that at the thing coming after us? Okay, we're just killing ourselves. Gotcha. Well, okay, fine. I guess I'll go first then. It's here. <laughs> Wait. Child. Wait a minute. I can see it. Go on. Blow your brains out. All right, stupid child. So. Yeah. Oh. Ah! Ow. But also, yeah, that felt fucking good. Oh, no. Thou art I! From the sea of thy soul, I come. I am Orpheus. Master of strength. See, that's how you shoot yourself in the face. Damn this demon child! Ah! Uh, wait, it's not Orpheus. It's actually Thanatos. Uh, I burned my bread too much. Uh. Is this guy supposed to be like level like 85 or something? Ah, whatever, it's fine. Getting a little early. Ah! Come here, bitch. Ah! Oh my god, dude, I'm like level three. Calm down. Ah! You hit that shadow's weak point. Get an extra turn. Ah! Uh, did I just nut? <sighs> what on earth was that? Yeah, I find that 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 scene to be so interesting because, well, I guess slight spoiler maybe, but you like you see. Than Thanatos show up, right? Like, you summon Orpheus, but Orpheus doesn't actually kill the shadow. So it's just suddenly he turns into Thanatos. The funny thing is, you don't see Thanatos for a long goddamn time. So that shit, like, happens, and I don't know, like, I, I remember playing the game and thinking, like, at any point, Orpheus is gonna do this, and it's like, no. But it's, it's not, it's like, the, the reason why he did that is you don't understand that till like, way goddamn later. Way freaking later. So if you're hoping that Than Thanatos is going to be in your starting party here, I'm sorry to disappoint you.
<laughs> I was hoping so at the time. I'm like, Thanos is so fucking cool looking. Is it over? No! I think I crapped my pants. Uh oh. No! G get away from me! All right, now you shoot yourself in the face, and clearly that's only going to lead to good things. I need to protect her. <laughs> what? what? Did they break off from that other one? So the new song still has that. You hear that sound at the start of it when it's like whoop, whoop, whoop. I always, the longest time when I played the original game, I thought that was the fucking battle menu when it pops up. I did not realize that it's actually part of the music because it makes a similar sound to what the, the menu makes. I mean, granted, it's, it, you tell here it isn't because the menu hasn't even popped up yet, but but you just like later on when I just run to fights, so I, so I, when I listened, went back and listened to the soundtrack on its own, I was like, what the fuck? This thing's just in the background of the song? Oh, dude. Oh, this fucking UI. Oh, the future is bright. Persona 5 is here to stay, baby. Da 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 da. Baby, baby. So now just one button press to just summon your shit. Let's give him a nice little attack though first. Ugh. Ow. Ah. Weak. This version of the song has this like weird, almost like frog sound in the back, where it sounds like a, like a frog ribbiting. It's like I don't know if I like the this version as much as the OG. I think the horns aren't quite as nice, and I think the the vocals aren't don't have quite as much kick to it. It's not bad, don't me wrong, but I, I do think that the original was a little bit better. Uh, monster gone. Cool. Hey, hey, girl. Do you see that shit? It's pretty cool, huh? I was like shooting fire out of my brain. Ah, I want to go to sleep now. Are you okay? Just gonna take a night, night, real quick. Oh, come on. Shh. I'm trying to sleep. Can you hear me? Oh. So I'm back in my happy place. Wait, this isn't the bathroom. Damn it. It's so good to see you again. Oh, you're definitely not at my happy place. You lost consciousness after awakening to your power. Ooh, I see that it was Orpheus who heeded your call. Very interesting. And then, uh, what's this? Uh, Thanatos showed up? Oh, he showed up a little too early, didn't he? I'm gonna have to chastise him real good later. That was the power of Persona, the manifestation of your psyche. Persona? It's my psyche. I don't understand what you're talking about, old man. A Persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. You can think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships. It's not a mask. No, 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 that's a, that's a later game, actually. A mask? The power of a persona is the power of one's soul. And the soul is fueled by the depth of one's bonds. As you form these bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The strength these social links will foster the growth of your persona abilities. Please remember this. The who and the what and the doodah now should be writing this down. Now then, time marches on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Also, you're in a hospital and I think you might be dying, so ta-ta now. Next time we meet, you will come here of your own accord. 
But uh, what if I don't want to? You will! But uh, I don't think I will. No, you will! Can I not, though? You will! Until then, farewell. Holy, whoa. My head's getting clearer. Dang, I didn't remember him being out for like a fucking week. I feel someone's presence beside me. Oh shit, I was in the hospital. I actually do not remember going to the hospital for this. How do you feel? Like I've got morning wood. Thank God this blanket's thick. Where am I? Why are you here? What are you doing in my room? Thank goodness. You finally woke up. I was so worried about you. The doctor couldn't find anything wrong. He said you were just exhausted. Hey, um, I'm sorry I wasn't helpful at all back there. Yeah, I had to shoot my own brains because of you. But wow, that power of yours was really something. What did I do? you used we call it persona uh, this is an interesting version of uh, of the original song I, I, I'm wondering is this is it a new version it's like it's, it's kind of like the the dun 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 dun, that's like a, a softer version I think it, I think it was in the original I think it was and those creatures you defeated are shadows, our enemies. I can hear the lyrics more clearly. We'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. Yeah, shame on I, you. I, uh, I wanted to tell you something. I can kind of relate. To you, I mean. You mean me putting a bullet in my brain? What do you mean? My dad died in an accident when I was little. And my mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. You're all alone too, aren't you? Yeah, it's, mine's kind of like that, except uh, my parents are just dead. Both of them. To be honest, I already heard about your past. But it didn't seem fair, so I wanted you to know about mine too. Yeah, we're both alone and everyone we know and love is gone. We should be friends. This was a while ago, but there was a big explosion in the area. Supposedly, my dad died in the blast, but nobody really knows what happened. At the time, he was working in a lab run by the Kirijo group. So I'm hoping if I stick around long enough, I'll find out more about it. That's why I'm going to Gekukon High. And why I was there when this happened to you. Not that I was much help. I kind of panicked. That was my first time facing them too. Sorry. You wouldn't have to go through all this if I weren't such a coward. It's not your fault. It's fine, I was scared too. Really? But still. Okay, no, I wasn't scared actually. I just wanted to make you feel better. I want to pretend for a second like I have real feelings. Sorry for telling you all this the minute you opened your eyes. While I was waiting, I thought to myself... I've been hiding so many things from him. As soon as he wakes up, I'll tell him the truth. So thanks for listening. I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. And thanks for picking me. All right, I'm gonna get going. I'll let the others know you're okay. They said you could leave once you regain consciousness. So I think you're free to go home. See you. Also, do you have an erection? Damn it. Stupid morning wood, stupid blanket not being thick enough. Oh, welcome back. Gotta say, I'm so relieved now that you're out of the hospital. Yeah, me too. Their hospital food sucked. Don't push yourself, though. Do you want to get some rest? Don't worry, your room's safe now. Everyone always tell me I'm sleep, sleepy and tired when I look sleepy and tired, but come on. That's just how I am at all times. It's just my... My cool guy demeanor. Yeah, see, look how little I give a shit. I'm just gonna wipe the hair out of my face. Who cares if I can't see out of this right eye? I, certainly not I. Not when I look this badass. Tristan Pye says she'll be late today. I guess she's processing some paperwork for you. Hey, try to overdo at school tomorrow, okay? Can I access my menu yet? The answer is no. I'm still not cool enough. 
All right, also, I can do this. Can I actually see people, uh... I can, I can see, I see Yukari there, so I can actually see who's uh, in the vicinity. Wait, I didn't get a chance to do this the other day. I've literally been holding this, this shit in for a week. Oh, this is gonna feel so good. Ah! Oh. Oh boy, that was uh, that was cooking in the oven for uh, a little too long. Not gonna lie. I like the uh, the uh, little detail. I actually put on like little slippers here in your room. There's nothing good on. Uh, trying to see if there's anything I can interact with yet. Yo, long time to see. What's up? Did you have an upset stomach or something? Yeah, upset stomach that lasted an entire week. It was, uh, it was painful. I was constipated. I didn't shit till yesterday. It hurt. Damn, dude, that's that's a bummer, bro. We've all been there. Seriously, for like the whole week? Yeah, man. Was it the Chipotle? Chipotle does that to me too. Anyway, I, I got something to tell you. All right, you full of energy. You totally thought I was a pain in the ass just now, didn't you? It, my bad. I, I'm not the same person as I was yesterday. Just, just forget about old Junpei. Anyways, just for always making everything about me. You should cheer up too. After all, you got a friend in me. Like Toy Story. Thanks. She's so much full of energy today. I can hear you from all the way over there. Huh? Well, you two didn't come to school together even though you're in the same dorm? Stupid or something. I thought you guys were fucking. Don't mess with my head cannon, Yucatan. <sighs> I've heard enough about that. Anyway, Bizzlekun, are you feeling better? Sorry to hit you with this so soon after you've recovered, but the chairman wants to talk to you today. Oh God, I swear if he tells me another one of his stupid jokes. I told you, you get used to after a while. No, I really don't think I will. Head to the dorm after school and come up to the fourth floor. Don't forget, okay? Hold up. Why are you being called out by the chairman? The heck did you do? It's not like that. It's nothing serious. Come on, we're gonna be late for you stand around here talking. Bow, 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 bow. God, the music in this game is such a vibe. Can we call it a day? That's enough about mammoths. I don't see the big deal. They're just huge elephants. <sighs> well, it's a wrap for the Stone Age. <sighs> tired of these lessons about fossils. We're gonna talk about the Sengoku era. Japanese history is not exciting enough until then. Is that why you wear the hat? Yes, blue hair boy, it is. But it's what I paid to do, so here we are. It's not easy being an adult. Next is the Jomon period. When did the samurai get their day in the sun? What is just a question random and called a day? Uh, Pizzacoon. Ah, oh, crap. Place where people dump their waste in the Jomon period. What are they called nowadays? Boneyards, middens, hovels. Well, a boneyard is a boneyard, and a hovel is like a decrepit home, so it's gotta be a midden. Mm, that's correct. That's right, they're called middens. The word is Scandinavian in origin, means dunghill. Yeah, that didn't work. Still not interested in this at all. <sighs> I wanna get to the gauge of katanas. I think it's so dull. Yeah, not dull like that katana blade. Oh, Bizzlekun with the bazinga. I answer correctly. Everyone in the class look at me with respect. Yeah, it's funny. When you get things right, you're actually increasing your charm, not your academics. These little transitions are so cool. Uh, hey. What's up? We wanna walk home together? Okay. Why? <laughs> Might start rumors. Huh? Come on, there's no need to put <laughs> on a brave face. <laughs> she, she got over that fast. What if you pass out again on the way home? I feel responsible for that, you know? Let me make it up to you. Yeah, are you supposed to be the healer of the group? Come on, let's go. Give me my Meteoron. 
safe. I'm glad you're feeling okay now. Well, I guess I'll head up first. Does that mean you guys can finally take the cameras out of my room? What? You know about that? Yeah, it was uh, kind of obvious. You literally just glued a giant video camera on my wall. You didn't even bother putting a plan or anything around it. Yeah, Kutsuki-san isn't known for subtlety. Yeah, I've uh, kind of noticed. Like I said this morning, meet me on the fourth floor. The chairman should be waiting for us. Cool. <gasps> what is that? Is that a condom? Oh, wait. What's that thing shining on my bed? Twilight Fragment! The fuck is that? I see anything like this before, so I'll do it for now. For reasons I don't know. I can't even look at it! To the fourth floor! Oh. Ah, there you are! Wait, hold on. Ugh. Gotta get myself prepped for this. Okay, I feel better. You take some pretty fast shits. Yeah, it's kind of my talent. My only talent. Hey. Come on, they're waiting for you inside. Ah, there you are. Hi. Looks like you've recovered. I'm glad to see that. There are some things I need to discuss with you. That's why I asked you to see me so soon after your discharge from the hospital. Uh, please, have a seat. Before that, I believe I mentioned his name before, but this is Sanada-kun. Hey there. Hi. You're hot. Sorry, that just came out, but it's also true. Okay, let me start off by asking you this. Would you believe me if I said that a day consists of more than 24 hours? You know, I think subconsciously, I always knew it. What? That's a reasonable reaction. However, you've already experienced this truth firsthand. Do you remember the night you first arrived here? You had to have noticed the signs. Street lights going out, things that stopped working, the inexplicable appearance of coffins. Mm, nah, that's pretty normal for me. It was like that in the last place I came from. What? Yeah, it's been like that like everywhere I've ever been my entire life. Where are you from again? Hell. What? Hell. Hell, Michigan. It's a real place. Look it up. With so many things amiss, didn't it feel like you'd stepped into a different time? That's the dark hour. A time period hidden between one day and the next. Hidden? Between? I don't get it. I know how you feel. Who would believe such a fantastical claim? But the dark hour does exist, and it occurs each night as the clock strikes twelve. It will happen tonight, and every night to come. Normal people don't realize it, since they're all sleeping inside their coffins. I wish I could sleep in a coffin. But it's comfy in there. But that's not what makes the dark hour so interesting. It isn't. You saw them. Those creatures. We call them shadows. They only appear during the dark hour, and attack anyone who roams free outside the coffins. It's our job to defeat them. Pretty exciting, huh? Or, you know, we could just not defeat them and keep sleeping. That's what I like to do. Akihiko, why are you always like this? You just got hurt the other day. Because I love protein at Mitsuru! Now, now, he does his work well in any case. I'll get to the point. We are the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad. Seize. For short. Seize? More like seize nuts. Yeah? No? Nobody here? Anybody? Oh, me! Me! I got it! I understood the joke! <sighs> Great. You're the last person I wanted to impress here. On paper, we're classified as a school club. But in reality, this group is dedicated to defeating the shadows. Mitsuru Kirijokun is the leader and I'm the club advisor. 
A shadow feeds on the mind of its prey. The victim becomes a living corpse. Apathy syndrome. I'm sure you've heard of it. We sometimes refer to those who suffer from this as the lost. They're responsible for most of the incidents on the news, if not all of them. How do you fight them? What about the police? Call the popo. Unfortunately, the police can't do a thing during the dark hour. But they've got guns, like your guns. Although rare, there are those who can function during the dark hour. Some may even awaken to a power that enables them to fight shadows. That's known as Persona, the power you called upon the other night. Cool, so I'm like a super guy? Shadows can only be defeated by Persona users. Ooh. That means you are the only ones who stand a chance against them. And that's all because I shot myself in the face with a gun. Damn. Well, clearly I should have been doing that my whole life. I'm gonna go find more guns and do that even more often now. I, I see. Yeah, I don't get it. What he's trying to say is we want you to join us. <gasps> so if I say yes, I get my own gun? Yes. Oh, I'm in. We've prepared an evoker for you. We'd like you to lend us your strength. I'm not sure I'm ready. Don't think too hard on it. Just hang out with us for a while. Please, we need your help. Wait, don't pressure him like that. What if he feels like he can't say no? I mean, I'd like it if he joined too, but... All right. Okay, for now. I don't mind. Okay, for now. Thank you. But I made sure my evoker against you all if I find that you're holding me back. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I will shoot you, I swear. Thank you so much. Truly. I have an itchy trigger finger. Oh, I almost forgot. About your room assignment. Why don't you just stay in the room you have now? I don't know what the holdup is, but I guess it worked out in the end. <laughs> Hold up? But wasn't that... Oh, never mind. I joined seas to fight the shadows. Neat. Oh God, I hear the voice. Voices in the voices in my head are coming back. Ah, ah, ah! I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast established a new bond. I have. Yeah. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choose. Become a greater persona of the Fool Arcana! Rank 1! Did you just call me a fool? Seize the day! Feel my inner strength growing. Recall what Igor said about the power of social links. Well, that's all for today. I'll follow up with you regarding our club activities later on. Checking terminology. Check terms that have been displayed in messages along with their descriptions. Can be viewed by opening the menu and going to the system and selecting dictionary. I apologize for gathering you all here on your precious day off. Tomorrow is Sunday, so take some time to relax. Well then, shall we end this meeting? God damn it. You know, because it's the weekend. Shall we end? Shall we end? Get it? You know, you make, it makes it worse when you have to explain the joke. My C's nut joke was way better. The Dank Hour! Hi, how have you been? <laughs> Nani, the fuck are you doing in my room? And you are? How'd you get in here? I'm always by your side. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, I'm going back to sleep. Soon, the end will come. Really? Uh, because I feel like we're only in episode two here. I remembered, so I thought I should tell you. I don't care. Really? Well, if you say so. To be honest, I don't have much to tell you anyway. Yeah, I figured. 
More importantly, it looks like you've awakened to your power. And what an unusual power it is. A power that takes many forms, yet is bound by none. It might even prove to be your salvation, depending on where you end up. Do you remember when we first met? I expect you to honor your commitment. I mean, when I sign my name in blood, I guess my will, sure. I'm always watching you, even if you forget about me. That doesn't make me feel any better. Okay, then. See you later. Well, I'm not sleeping anymore tonight. Sunday. Hey, you in there? Where else would I be? Oh, still evening. Looks like I slept till nighttime. Oh. If you are, could you come downstairs? Sonata Senpai's calling for us. I literally slept the whole day away. Okay, he's here. So what's this about? Hey, look, check out our casual wear. Damn, Akiko looking fly. Thanks for coming. There's someone I want to introduce. Hey, hurry up. Just a sec. Junpei? Why are you here? Yeah, Jimba, Junpei! Back from the dead, assholes! Don't tell me. This is Junpei Yori from Class 2F. I'll be staying here from now on. <laughs> What's up? He's staying here? Are you sure there wasn't some mistake? I bumped into him the other night. He has the potential, but he just awakened to it recently. I told him about us, and he agreed to help out. Really? You have the potential? He found me crying like a baby at the convenience store, surrounded by a bunch of coffins. He probably could have uh, left that part out, but you know, that's just me. I don't remember much, but man, that's embarrassing. <laughs> but he said that's, you know, completely normal in the beginning. Like being confused, not remembering anything. Do you guys know that? Uh-huh. Nope. That didn't happen to me. Ugh. Hey, what's with the tough guy act? You should know about it, since you're a Persona user and all. Yeah, I know, but I've got protagonist syndrome, so, you know, that shit don't affect me. I'm just built different. Man, I still can't believe it. I had no idea you guys had this stuff going on, too. Well, I'm glad I'm not the only one. Wouldn't really want to be doing this on my own. But you gotta be stoked, too, right? Having me join? What? <laughs> what? Uh, I guess. Well, enough of the introductions. Now that our forces have increased, I think we're about ready. Ooh, we gotta go do something? Sweetness! I'm getting pumped! With this many people, we could start checking out that tower. Oh, you mean Tartarus. Tartar sauce? What? <laughs> Tartar sauce. It's a place that holds the key to understanding the Dark Hour. Or so we think. The key. <sighs> a place with many stairs. The chairman will give us more details tomorrow night, so be ready. <laughs> Yo, you ready to kick some ass? I'm always ready to kick ass, Junpei. You know this. Yeah, I know. So glad I was invited to join. Plus, the door's pretty cozy. But the best part is that we're the only ones who can fight these sh uh, 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 enemies. I don't really care. <laughs> you seem pretty gung-ho. Right. Well, duh. Who would be stoked by fighting for justice? Though, to be perfectly honest, I ain't got a single clue what we're supposed to be doing. Yeah. Yeah, I don't either. I just aim a gun at my head and pull the trigger and uh, things happen. But I'm sure we'll find out. 
They didn't say they'll explain everything. Lunchtime. Ooh, I'm tired. I was about to fall asleep. Can I have a minute? Come to the room on the fourth floor when you get back to the dorm tonight. I have something to tell you all. Oh, are we having that talk already? I'll save the details for later. See you there. waste any time she's not like us she's busy you know with the student council or whatever whoa yucatan do i sense some hostility it's not that i don't like her it's just i don't know it's kind of a bitch Days finally over. They're probably waiting for us at the dorm, right? Let's hurry back. <laughs> like, like my nod, a little ho ho gay bounces with with my head. <sighs> finally made it. Can't believe the accident delayed our train so much. It's already dark out. Been happening a lot lately, though. People jumping onto the tracks. Mm. This apathy syndrome thing's getting out of control. It's like the whole world's falling apart. Crap! Everyone else is there already! You better hurry! Over me! <laughs> wild Dad! I'm getting kinda hungry. Uh, wild Dad Burger! Where all our burgers are actually ducks. It's small rocks! So many places to chow down. Plus, they're open late. Speaking of, I heard the ramen joint upstairs has a secret late night menu. Maybe next time. Gag, gag. We brought wild dog. <laughs> oh, sorry. I thought this was all for you. This is actually for me. Come on, give me a second. I'll, I'll just finish eating it. <laughs> Uh, okay. All right, I'm good now. All right, everyone's here. Heck yeah! Let's get right into it. Now, I'd like your undivided attention. For a long time, Kirijo-kun and Sanada-kun were the only Persona users we had. But that number has recently jumped to five. So here's the plan. Starting tonight at 12 a.m., I'd like us to finally begin exploring Tartarus. Uh, so, I asked this yesterday, but what is that Tartar thing? It's Tartarus. You seriously haven't seen it, Junpei? Dude, I just got here yesterday! Well, I mean... It's no surprise you haven't seen it. Tartarus only appears during the dark hour, after all. Only during the dark hour? Just like the shadows. Interesting, huh? The goal of our club, Seas, is to fight those shadows. However, simply defeating shadows during the dark hour isn't enough. We must get to the root of the problem. We need to destroy the dark hour itself. Ah, uh, I don't really get it. Well, you're saying if we run around Tartarus, we can somehow get rid of the Dark Hour? We don't know for certain. Sorry I can't give you a better answer. But investigating the mysteries of that tower is part of our job. The bottom line is, we need more information. Everything we encounter there will be a vital clue for us. The exploration of Tartarus is of utmost importance. Consider it our top priority. Our society, while remaining blissfully unaware of the shadows, is slowly but surely succumbing to their influence. I would go as far as to say that the fate of the world rests on the shoulders of you Persona users. 
Oh, cool. So, like, uh, no pressure, right? That's one hell of a responsibility. But the heroes of justice will prevail. It's also the perfect spot for us to train and improve our skills. And also get protein. I bet you know how much I love protein. Man, I love protein. That place is like a nest of shadows, you know. Whoa. Your nest, huh? But Senpai, what about your injury? Akihiko's still recovering from his wounds. He'll accompany us, but won't participate in the exploration. Yes, he has an incredibly huge boo-boo. <laughs> Which is why he will not be joining us here in this early part of the game. Yeah, I know. Relax! Oh, Junpei's got your backs. I'm not so sure about this. What about you, Mr. Chairman? I'll stay here. What the hell's he gonna do? You know, persona or anything. Not much point, anyway, since I can't summon a persona. He's the guy with the wallet, and that's about it. Huh? We're here? Uh, what's going on? Why are we at school? Just wait and see. It's almost midnight. We'll get a cutscene for this, too. Whoa! <laughs> Suddenly... So what if we like, you know, stood over on top of it when it was doing that? Would it just take us straight to the top? Anybody? No? Just just me thinking that? Okay. This is Tartarus, the labyrinth that reveals itself during the dark hour. I love how the whole theming turns green too, you know? It's so cool. Labyrinth? What are you talking about? So like this this environment actually looks really good. This actually looks actually look pretty pretty dope. Tartar's looking hella hella sick. What happened to our school? Once the dark hour passes, everything will return to normal. My school! This is the nest you were talking about? But why? Why'd our school turn into a giant tower? Uh-huh. <sighs> you don't know either? No. I'm sure it's complicated. If we don't know, we'll just have to find out. That's why the students gotta fight back, but only the students that go to the school that turn to a giant demon tower. Mitsuru and I have only gone in to take a peek. This will be our first time exploring it. Exciting, huh? There's I've been waiting be for this. In there. Hopefully some sort of clue about the dark hour. Akihiko, I respect your enthusiasm, but you won't be exploring it today. I know. You don't have to keep reminding me. So this is Tartarus. In any case, we decide to enter the tower. Wow. It's just as crazy on the inside. Did anybody see that blue door over the left? What blue door? The one right there. I don't see anything. Really? Oh shit. The crazy's kicking in faster than I thought it would. Sure is creepy though. This is only the entrance. The labyrinth lies beyond the doorway at the top of these stairs. First, you need to get a feel for the place. Why don't the three of you go have a look around? What? By ourselves? We're not asking you to go very far. I'll help you navigate by feeding you information from here. We'll also need to appoint a leader to make any necessary decisions. A leader? Like, the captain of a pirate ship? I'm in! Me, 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 pick me! 
You're in charge. Bizzle. Ah, oh, damn it. Can you just pick Junpei, please? Wait! Why him? He doesn't look like a captain! He's right. Technically, Junpei has the hat. Calm down. He has experience fighting already. Yeah, I killed two guys. Wait, seriously? So that already automatically makes me a boss. That's true too, but the main reason is far more simple. Junpei, and you too, Takeba. Can either of you summon your persona without difficulty like he can? Yeah, of course I can. Me too. These are shadows we're talking about. Without your persona, you're screwed. I'm aware of that. All right, let's head inside. Are you ready, leader? I'm not mentally prepared for this. It all feels so sudden, doesn't it? But hey, I'll be right there with you. Come on, let's go. Huh, hold on guys, my key's ringing. What's the matter? The door, it speaks to me. Strange door sitting in the corner of the lobby. Seriously, you don't see that blue door? Uh, where are you going? Hold on, I think this might be a bathroom. And I need to shit in that bathroom. Ah, damn it, it's just you again. I've been waiting for you. I guess I have a toilet in here. I'm sitting on it. Yeah. The time has come for you to wield your power. The tower that you are about to venture into. How did it come to be? For what purpose does it exist? Regrettably. You are not yet capable of answering these questions. Because you're too much of a dum-dum. Hey, I'm at least level one in intelligence, okay? That's the starting level. Oh, yeah. Okay, no, you're right. I am a dum-dum. That is why you must be made aware of something before you go any further. You must understand the nature of your power. <laughs> nature of my power. About that door. I don't want to know. About that door. The door you just passed through is the entrance to this realm. Of course, no one but you can see it. So, like, am I just, like, standing out there? Yep, just standing there aimlessly like the big weird dum-dum you are. Oh, okay. Cool. That's sure to make me a lot of friends. Your power is unique. It is like the number zero. Empty. But at the same time, Holding infinite possibilities. You, my boy, are able to possess multiple personas and summon them at will. The wild card. And when you have defeated your enemies, you will see the faces of possibility before you. I can't remember if he actually calls you the wild card in this game or not. There may be times when they are difficult to grasp, but do not fear. Seize what you have earned. Your power will grow accordingly. Be sure to keep that in mind. Now then, my spare time will soon be scarce. Next time, once again, may you open the door and come here of your own accord. I'll tell you then about my true role, the manner in which I can best assist you. Okay. Until we meet again, Farewell. Farewell. You could just tell me now. Just saying I'm here. Okay, fine. Hey, are you alright? Huh? Yeah, what's up? You look like a zombie. Been like standing there for 30 minutes. Why didn't you like shake me or come get me? I don't know, man. You seem really into whatever it was you were doing. I opened this door and uh Huh? What door? Man, are you loco? Yeah, probably. They don't seem to see the door. Have you been nodding off? You seem kind of out of it. Is that any way to speak to your leader? Dude, you're supposed to be our leader. Get your head in the game. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Come on. Uh, 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 uh. Slap me. Slap me real hard, Junpei. Okay. Ah! Ah, that, was, that was too hard. That was That was way too hard. We'll be following you. Come on, let's go. 
Okay, can I access the menu yet? Leader. The answer's to the labyrinth is at the top of the stairs. When you feel ready to start, lead the way. Yes, here we go. You can open the menu and press the triangle. Allow you to booga booga booga. Yes. While exploring Tartarus, you can save at locations where you can change your party. However, you cannot save on the floor you're currently exploring. Ah, my sweet menu. Oh, god damn. Look at this shit. Ugh, it's so cool looking. We are level one. That UI is clean. Yes, Yukari is actually our healer. I was not joshing earlier. Let's see, items? Damn, I'm, just, I'm like, I just want to see the shit that pops up here. A glowing fragment of unknown origin cannot be so. I actually do not know what this is. The, oh, and also the Morgana Classic. Rebellious attire, redolent of a certain someone. Fitz Karamaru. Who's that? <laughs> Are you spoiling things for me, G game? Says the person who already knows. Fitz Aragaki. Fitz Amada. Fitz Igis. Cybergear. All the shit. Woo! Oh, sweet, sweet DLC, baby. Every one of these has, uh, has uh, our guy here just floating at a different angle. Short sword, plain shirt. Got my portable player. Yes, we always start off with a uh, an accessory. Everyone always starts off with an accessory that literally does nothing, but it's like representative of your personality in some way. Oh, and here's the uh, the outfits. We're not gonna we're not gonna do mess with this just yet. Just rather stick with our our uh, usual shit for now. The heart choker, practice bow, imitation katana, persona, Orpheus. Okay, so he's strong to fire. I guess. Is that exclamation point weakness? Yeah, it is. This is to fire uh, and weak to wind and uh, darkness. We do learn Dia with him. A poet of Greek mythology, skilled with the lyre. He tried to retrieve his wife from Hades, but she vanished when he looked upon her before reaching the surface. Damn, looks so good. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. Hold a piece of glass and change the face here. That's actually really cool. Oh, heck yes. Our portraits. Damn, looks so clean. Yeah, so we're Slash. He's Pierce. I think he's also Slash. Yeah. And here's his persona. Uh, Hermes. Yeah. Jupe is like all physical, I believe. Yeah, so we don't actually have... We don't have Sidekick or Nuclear in this one. I think technically we didn't actually have that in Persona 4 either. It's just a P5. Messenger God who serves Zeus. His winged sandals allow him to fly. And he was worshipped as a god of travel and commerce. He was also known as a trickster, being able to freely cross between the mortal and godly realms. Ah, oh, kick! Okay, and then... Kari has... Io, that's right. Lovers. A priestess that serves of the goddess Hera... When Zeus fell in love with her, he transformed her into a cow to hide her from Hera, but Hera saw through the ruse. She was rescued by Hermes and escaped across the sea to safety. There's a lot of Greek god stuff in, uh, in ours here. God, everyone looks so freaking good. So, anyway, so I, we're both weak to wind here, and he's weak to... Uh, Actually, wait. That's yeah. That's wind, and then this is. Oh, actually, no, no, no. I think this is lightning. No, sorry. The, the, it was kind of greenish looking. No, th this is wind, and then this is lightning. Yeah, it, it, it's shaped like a lightning bolt or Zio. Social link. Join extracurricular club that only extends invitations to persona users. This group fights the shadows that appear during the dark hour. Damn, I, lo I love this UI, man. God. I like that this has become a thing for Persona games. You know, it's like they have to have like a sick ass UI. And it's really smart because this is what you're going to be looking at a majority of the game. So why not make it like the dopest shit ever? Can I go back in here? Oh, no, we're not. Not yet. Watch clock. It doesn't seem to be working though. Giant device. I think I remember how this. I think I remember what this is, but we'll worry about that later. Oh, that's right. I think. Is this uh, Carrijo's? Yeah. So I keep my navigation equipment. Sorry, but do you mind not touching it? Fine. Oh, this game also looking down here has auto recover. That's nice. Got a map. Cool. 
Well, all right, guys. I think before we head in here, this is probably the best spot to uh, end things here for now. Yeah, I forgot how, how much like the start of this game is really like like teaching you stuff and like only now and, and I'm finally into episode three where we actually get to like the dungeon part. It's funny, even to, like they, they, I think they sort of get a little bit better with that later on. I mean, actually, no, Persona 4 also took a while to get going for that in, in that regard. But I remember Persona 5, it was like, I think in like the second episode, we were already like, we'd like unlocked Joker's power and we're at least running through like an area. So I feel like they get like a little bit better as goes as it goes on. But I'm really looking forward to actually, you know, getting now to the meat of the game and seeing how the gameplay is and how badly I could potentially get my ass kicked in merciless mode. Uh, but anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoy this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite and subscribe if you're not already become a picky penguin aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.